Please come in. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Please be seated. Thank you, sir. Please give us a brief introduction. Schooling is from Vikas Residential School, Burger. Uh, my hobbies are uh, playing cricket, football, and uh, during my leisure time, I like to listen to music. Okay, fine. So, you said that Vikas Residential School, Burger. Yes, sir. But you are a resident of Bhubaneswar, basically. Yes, sir. So, what were you doing in Burger? Actually, father was uh, doing service in Burger. So, during okay. his service, uh, we were staying with him. So we, we used to move with him uh, according to his transfers. But after okay, that, he was in a transferable job? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, but after that, uh, I decided to come to Bhubaneswar for my secondary, senior secondary education. Okay, so um, Vikash Residential School, that is basically CBSE board? Yes, sir. So in CBSE, 10th year, you have scored 95. In uh, plus 2, you have scored 85. Why 10% drop? Any specific reason? Sir. I believe the, the amount of coursework also gets added when we get into the higher uh, education, you know, when we move up in the education ladder, then the syllabus also gets added. And uh, so, uh, and also I found a little bit of difficulties in physics hmm. during my 10th plus 2, and biology was also a little bit of uh, difficult for me. So, I dropped my marks in those two subjects, so that is why I did uh, a little bit of a And again, in, uh, your Engineering, you have scored 85%. Yes. That's good. So you have a first division career throughout. Okay. And uh, you have no record of employment? No, sir. So you completed your education in 2017, yes, two years gap? I have been preparing for civil services. In 17, I was not eligible because uh, my date of birth was. Uh, it was not falling under the eligibility criteria. Hmm. So in 17 I could not appear. Then on 18, on 18 it was the first time that I will appear. Yes, this is your first attempt? Yes, sir. Very good. You remember your own number? Yes, sir. Hmm? 301028. 301028? Yes, sir. Okay. And what are the options that you have taken? My options are geography and forestry. Geography and forestry. Yes. Why not electrical engineering? Sir, actually, my main goal is to pass the examination. So, for that, uh, I have to choose such subjects that can support me in general science as well. But if I take electrical, then it has no relationship with the general general uh, yes papers. That's the first thing. And the second thing is electrical is a bit bulkier. Uh, so, I first at least uh, before preparing. Uh, for geography and forestry, I did analyze the electrical paper and I found that I had to read uh, 7 or 8 books uh, to get good marks for electrical. So, and again that was not going to help me in the GS paper as well. So, I decided that electrical cannot uh, favor me uh, in this exam. So, I then I started uh, looking out for the subjects that can help me uh, to clear the exam. So, if, uh, uh, after analyzing the subjects, uh, I found my likings for geography and forestry and I felt that this can help me uh, get good marks and uh, it will place me in a better position. So that is why I uh, have taken this geography and forestry. So you have decided to join civil services uh, I mean, uh, during your school and college days or was there some particular incident which uh, forced you to change your mind or uh, how, why did you decide to join civil services or to choose civil services as your career option? Because I see that with you, your academics are quite good. If you have liked, you would have gone to the private sector. If you have liked, you would have gone to the academia. Uh, why why you are interested in civil service? So because it is the nature of the job that attracts me. Um, the most important thing is that I get to see the diversity in this uh, civil services. And like civil servants, they work in different fields. Uh, so that is the first thing. Because it is the human nature that when we uh, work in one particular field, generally the PCNC, tends to go down. So that was one of the prime things because of the diversity. And second is the nature of the work that appeals to me. Uh, civil service is a work that you get to uh, get to work for the people directly. So and when you work for the people, it gives you uh, a kind of satisfaction. 
uh, at the end of the world. And secondly, uh, we see that uh, uh, they do a lot of uh, welfare activities for the people as well uh, through this job. And the second thing is also uh, the civil services provides you a bit of security. Uh, what I mean of security is personal security, like it gives you a decent house, a decent salary. So you can be uh, self-secure, at the same time you can have diversity uh, in this field and you are also contributing to the development of the state. So the overall package of this job uh, stand out uh, from private sector or academic field as far as my perception and my analysis. Okay. So you have done your uh, 12th standard from uh, Diana Anglo-Vedic uh, School, right? Yes. So please tell me something about the DAV chain and uh, uh, who is the founder of uh, your school, what was his philosophical ideology, just let me know something about that. I am sorry sir, actually I do not remember at the moment, I just know that he was a social reformer who was uh, uh, trying to bring uh, educational reform mm -hmm. and uh, his, his starting work was probably in Karachi of, of Punjab and then he, he was belonging from Gujarat but then he started his first DAP school in Karachi and from there uh, he was uh, of the view that uh, because at the time of Britishers they were bringing the, the, the modernization of education and there was a lot of uh, thinkers who were also appealing to the society that the Hinduism actually at that point of time was stagnant and the, society, the overall society was in a very downtrodden state so he wanted to uh, believe that the Vedas uh, which could guide the people at that point of time uh, to, towards a better life. So he wanted to bring those ideologies from Vedas and the Vedic period and he wanted to implement in the society. But uh, as for the chain of schools and network, I am not aware of how, how it was created. Okay, fine. So, your uh, BTEC you have done from KIT, KIT University. Kit University is in news uh, nowadays, uh, why? It has got the tag of Institute of Eminence. Mm -hmm. uh, after getting this tag, it will get some extra grants from Ministry of Human Resource and Development so that it can expand itself and it can indulge in uh, research and developmental activities. Okay. And uh, who is the founder of your uh, organization? So Dr. Pachyuta Samantha. Okay. Presently, what he is doing? He is actually a member of Rajya Sabha now. Uh, sorry, he was a member of Rajya Sabha. Currently, he is a member of Lok Sabha. From? From Parangandi district. I am not sure, sorry, from Kandamal, Kulmani district. It is Kandamal or Kulmani. Kandamal Lok Sabha constituency. No, uh, I, I will say Kulmani actually, I am not sure about the old name. He is Kulmani a Lok Sabha constituency? I am not sure about that, sir. Okay, just check that, right? Okay. And uh, but uh, more famous than the Kit uh, University is its sister university. What is that? Kiss. That is our university also. It has got university status. What your university is great, but you study more about KISS, okay? Yes. Kalinga Institute of Social Sciences yes. because throughout the world it is more renowned. Yes, it is now more renowned. Yes. Okay, why it is more renowned? So because uh, uh, Dr. Achyuta Samadhisa has provided a setup in which uh, tribals from all across the state are being taught and uh, they are given free education, free state, free coding, and the overall human resource development for those kids are being done in KISS. Yes. That you have to do. And many, uh, you know, luminaries have uh, uh, come out of his, can you tell me, good sportsman. Duthi uh, Chang is one. Yes. Uh, why, why is she famous? Why? Yes, she is a 100 meter sprinter. Mm -hmm. And uh, recently she was also in news for uh, homosexuality and uh, her uh, appeal towards uh, same sex uh, uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, who is known as the, since you uh, mentioned sprinting, who is known as the golden girl uh, of P. India? P.T. Usa. Contemporary period? Uh, Last six months? Das. 
From which state? Sri Sumasam. Sri Sumasam. Okay. Uh, you are talking something about uh, homosexuality, same-sex uh, relationship. So, can you tell me which section of the IPC was struck down by the Supreme Court for being unconstitutional? It's the Article 377, sorry, Section 377 was struck down last year. Yes, it was decriminalized in a sense. We cannot be criminal of it. What are your views? The Supreme Court has said that it is not criminal for two uh, consenting individuals, okay, they may be of any gender, uh, to have a sexual relationship, yes. right? What is your view about that? In yes. Europe and all, many countries are there. Those who have legalized same-sex marriages, okay? And uh, what would be your uh, view if the government of India would be thinking in the same lines? Although they are not, but what is your opinion? So I think the judiciary has given a very good judgment looking at the current setup of society because we are now living in a more globalized world and the, the culture is more opening up, we are more interconnected with uh, different people. Uh, had, it been before, had it been 1960s or 1970s, maybe the same judgment could not have been come because the societal setup was very different and would have been very chaotic and they would have been very much protest. But now the younger generation are more open and they are more globalized and they are knowing about the culture of different countries. Uh, so it was a very good judgment and at the same time the, the freedom of the people should be respected and the choices of the people also should be respected in a democracy. So it's a, it's a welcoming judgment. Okay. Which section of IPC did you say? Three? 377. 377. Fine. So coming to your hobbies. So you don't have any employment record? You have not done any? So actually you got a placement offer in hobbies and but I didn't join that. Okay. Since you are no, interested for in civil services, so it's time where you are doing something. Okay, so what is your age now? Say 23. 23. So your sports, hobbies, cricket, football and listening to music. Okay, so let us start with cricket. Uh, can you tell me what is the length of the cricket pitch? Say 22 yards. 22? Yards. Are you sure it is 22 or 24? 22 yards. 22? You are sure? Yes. One yard is how many feet? It is approximately one feet. Approximately one feet. So it is around 22 feet. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell me what are the various ways in which a batsman can get out in cricket that you know? Yeah. So one is bold. Another one is caught and bold, mm. LBW, leg behind wicket, run out, hit wicket. He can be also out for obstructing the, the fielder when they are trying to get him out. If he obstructs the wicket, then also he can be uh, given out. These are the ways that I know. Another one? Is there something called timed out? Suppose one wicket is down. Okay. Other batsman does not come out for let's say 2 minutes, 5 minutes. That is one particular time. So, check. Okay. Check that. Okay. Have you heard the word wisdom? Wisdom? Hmm? I've heard it, sir. In what context? Uh, I don't remember, but I've like heard it, but I, I don't remember. It's probably. It is called the Bible of cricket. Wisdom? Yeah. The magazine? Okay, one of them. Older uh, magazines having a lot of history and still living. So just go through that because you have been cricket, okay? So uh, which place is called the Mecca of cricket? Lords. Lords? Okay. Who makes all these uh, cricket laws? Now there is ICC. Before ICC, there was something called as MCC. Have you heard MCC? Melbourne Cricket Club. Not exactly Melbourne in England, but it is called MCC. All the laws, etc., were made by them. Okay. Currently, who is the chairman of uh, ICC? It's Sam Angal. From India? Yes. Okay. Before him, there was someone from Pakistan? Okay. So, you are an avid fan of cricket? Sir? You are an avid fan of cricket? Yes, sir. Hmm. 
So, what is your opinion? You know, the advent of T uh, Twenty cricket hmm, has it done more good or more bad to the game of cricket? Considering that uh, you know, Test match, many players are now basically not that interested in Test matches. Even there are some important players who are retiring from Test cricket so that they can pursue T Twenty and other limited over the cricket. So I think there is a very balanced view to this. Uh, if you talk about T20, the positive things I would like to talk first are many younger players uh, got the opportunity to play in T20, so that brought uh, you know their, their talent to the national team. So ultimately, uh, for example, the likes of Jasprit Bumrah was he was identified in IPL, which is a T20 program. And the second thing is uh, nowadays uh, people are looking for more entertainment after the hard work they do, and the T20 is is one of the shortest and one of the best form of entertainment. So people are entertained, uh, but I want to the negative. If we come to the negative points again, uh, the T20s are offering more money, and so some players are preferring to play T20 and they are not playing uh, Test cricket. And also the longer format games are seeing shorter attendance. For example, recently uh, the Indian captain said that uh, he would like five uh, venues which is fixed for the Test cricket so that at least the attendance uh, should be uh, should be there and the younger uh, children would like to come and watch the Test match. So somehow uh, people are also losing interest in this match and no comments. So this is also the very similar point. Okay. So football. Okay. Before going to football, can you remember? Can you tell me two major scams in cricket or bigger biggest controversies in cricket? The recent one was the ball tampering incident that happened in South Africa. Mm. Uh, Steve, Steven Smith and uh, David Warner and uh, Cameron Bancroft they were suspended. Mm. And uh, there was the first scam. And the recent scam was the IPL scam. I can remember the spot mixing scam. That was Have you heard about body line series? Something called body line. Uh, who is the greatest batsman ever? According to the averages. Yes. Why did he become great apart from you know scoring so many runs? He faced a bodyline series. Donald Bradman is from which country? Australia. Australia. So during many of the tests with England, especially the Ashes, there was a particular captain of England who allowed his or asked his or pressurized his fast bowlers to attack the body of the batsman. At that time, protective gear was not there. Helmet is very minimal. So it was generally you know, a gentleman game. But the body, that is why it is known as the body line series. And from there, this concept of protection and all this started. Okay. Now, uh, football is also one of your favorite uh, sports. Yes, sir. I like yeah. watching football basically. Okay, yeah, but cricket you played? Yes, sir. Okay, so you can just write, okay, this playing football and uh, playing cricket, watching football. Right? Okay, so football playing nations generally yes, are not interested in cricket. Can you name a nation which has an international cricket team and still has uh, won? The World Cup at least once. So, one international cricket team? Huh? Yes. It ran one major international cricket team. Yes, uh, and in that country, football is also very famous. Uh, England is there. England may be one of the exceptions, but mostly like US, like South America and all, yes. they are more crazy about football. So, European South countries America. and uh, the South hmm. American countries. So, what is the total uh, you know, size of a football field? Approximately it's uh, 90 meters and uh, 80 meters, I'm not sure about that, so I'll find it out, I'm not sure about that. Okay. Right. So, who is your favorite footballer? Cristiano Ronaldo. From which country? He's from Portugal. Portugal. Yes. Okay. And, uh, can you tell me what are the major uh, football tournaments which are held around the world? Uh, so globally we have the FIFA World Cup that happens in every 
four years. And then regionally we have the UEFA European, the, the club games are there when we have the Champions League and the Europa League. And also there are continental tournaments in South America and the CONCAP tournaments. And in Europe we have the Euro. So I think Europa America is for? Yes sir, it's for the South American countries. Okay, fine. So, there is a goal generally referred to as hands of God goal. Yes. Can you tell me something about it? That goal was scored by Diego Maradona of mm -hmm. Argentina. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember against which team he scored. I just heard mm -hmm. it somewhere that it's called the hand of God because he scored it from his hand and the goal was not disallowed. It was given. Okay. How many cards are there in uh, football? Cards used by the referee? There are two cards. One is yellow card and that is for cautioning the player and the red card is for sent off. And in hockey, do you have any idea? In hockey, we have three cards. One is green card, uh, that means you have to go out of the field for two minutes, then a yellow card for five minutes, and the red card is sent off. Okay, fine. So, any uh, three important footballers from India that you know? Uh, Sunil Chetri, uh, before that we had Baichon Bhutia. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
we have say many rivers that means the uh, Saravati river is there and uh, because and at that point they are flowing to the Arabian Sea because the slope is uh, towards the Arabian Sea after the western part towards the, the Arabian part. Okay. So you have uh, studied about uh, migration in human geography. Yes, Can you tell me something about Ravenstein's model of migration? Loss of stages of growth? Uh, there are five stages of growth. Uh, the first one is the primitive stage, and that goes on uh, from primitive stage to the most advanced stage in stage five. So, in the first stage, it's basically a cultural state uh, where the more money is spent on the culture and the army to defend the state, and then basically uh, the people will develop. And in the fifth stage, it's a more developed stage, and the people are more focused towards uh, their, their activities and their living. Where it is not more insecure, uh, so the gradual transition happens in that way. Okay. Uh, forestry, you told why you did the forestry. Forestry, you have studied about silviculture? Uh, no, I have left that part in my You left that part? Silviculture? Yes. That is how you know forests are to be grown. The yes, study of forests in a sense, as a soul of forestry. Yes, exactly. That's what I left because the number of trees were more and uh, yeah, number of species were more. Yeah. To, but still, to you could manage uh, the paper. Yes, I could manage. You have uh, attempted all. Uh, so six hundred paper one was not very good. Uh, it was it was kind of average. So okay. maybe I'm expecting forty percent marks in that paper. Paper two was was good. I could um, I could write uh, most of the questions in paper two. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, you have appeared six I mean, attempted six and six and marks. So you left some questions. I left some questions in paper one. Okay. okay. Mm, you know about forest fires. Yes. Tell me the reasons for forest fires and what are the general prevention methods for forest fires. So the one the natural reasons are like lightning. Sometimes mm -hmm. lightning induces forest fires, mm -hmm. and the other natural reason can be wind. When there is a wind, like if there is a bamboo tree, there can be friction, and from that friction, fire can generate. So these are some of the uh, natural uh, ways by which fire can come up. Uh, some of the man-made ways are like uh, uh, farmers often and they they burn their crop residues or the the, the forest uh, the minor forest products which are like leaves are times uh, put into fire and from there it spreads or some people they go for picnic and other recreational activities uh, near the forest area and then they leave that fire without uh, um, putting it off so these are some of the reasons why forest fires are used okay so You are from Khorda district, Bhubaneswar. Yes. Tell me something about Bhubaneswar. Uh, so Bhubaneswar. The modern Bhubaneswar was planned in 1948 uh, with the line of Jamshedpur, Chandigarh and Bhubaneswar. They were the three modern cities. Uh, prior to that, uh, Bhubaneswar has a rich history. Uh, we have pockets of uh, Udayagiri and Khandagiri, which is now a part of Bhubaneswar. It, it clings to the Kharapala dynasty of the 4th to 6th century BC uh, under the Jain control of Petronism. And then in the 11th and 12th century, we had the Eastern Bengalese ruler who built the area of uh, near the Raj. So it's a mix of a cultural city and a modern city that was founded in 1948. And uh, ever since it has been expanding, uh, it is one of the most urbanized city in our state. Uh, Bhubaneswar is known for many regions, especially its uh, education. Its, its engineering colleges are uh, more so people, but students from neighboring states to come here. And it is also a growing IT hub in Eastern India, especially companies like Wipro, Infosys, TCS are placed. Uh, and the basic uh, occupation of the people here are some more they are inclined to the services sector, uh, mm -hmm. unlike the other parts where agriculture is a is a prime occupational activity. Mm -hmm. What about the in the health uh, map of India, Eastern India? How does movement show fare? So it performs decently well if we compare it with uh, other other parts of Odisha because we have many private colleges in in Bhubaneswar. At the same time, we have uh, many government colleges and government uh, hospitals as well. Uh, so and AIMS has also been set up recently. So it increases the the, the health performance of Bhubaneswar, especially if we compare with other parts of India. 
other places. Okay. So, what are the service preferences that are given? So, I have given first preference is OS, then followed by OPS, and then followed by ORS, then followed by uh, the third one is sorry, the third one is OT, UT, Odisha Texas, and it counts. And the fourth one is ORS, the five, fifth one is Odisha Finance, and the sixth one is uh, Odisha uh, Employment Service. First one is OS. OS, OPS and OFS, all three are group A jobs, right? Yes, same salary structure, yes, same pay matrix. Yes, Why OS? What is the reason you have chosen OS? Can you give me a reason for that? So because it's the nature of the work that appeals me uh, for this job. Uh, and, uh, particularly? Particularly, it's for more implementing the schemes and working for the people, contributing to the development. You are more linked with the, the society. So, can you tell me what are the ranks associated with OS? Five ranks are there. So, you start with, let's say, junior branch, plus one junior branch, then in that way you go to the highest. What is the highest rank that an OS officer can go to? Special secondary, okay. Just go through these, these are technical things. So, generally, when you join, what are the posts? You can expect the Sindar and then video and SD and sub collector and collector and etc. These are posts you are saying the progression that is correct. No, in the entry level, what are the posts that you can get? In entry, I think the designation is of DRO is a training reserve officer. Yes. I'm not aware about the other aspects. Yes, that is correct. Training reserve officer. But then, after that, you will be posted as? BDO probably. In the blocks? as the Siltar, okay, in the same rank, that is also deputy collector, in case you are posted in the collectorate, you are given a particular responsibility, deputy collector revenue, for example, okay. So, can you contrast the, uh, the job profiles of the Siltar and collector, uh, the Siltar and BDO, and uh, what is the difference uh, between the work of these two? The Siltar is basically, it is designated for revenue, you know, revenue activities like collection of revenue and uh, uh, the land agreements, uh, settling the disputes of land or demarcating the land. Uh, for BDO, they work in a block uh, as the, um, as the they, they basically implement the schemes and uh, they look after uh, how the schemes are running and they give feedbacks, uh, how to improve the schemes. So in block level, like in uh, the, the the setup is uh, we have a three tier setup. That is the in the tier three is the panchayat and the tier two is the block. So in the block level, he is the chief executive executive officer of the different schemes and different welfare activities. Okay, fine. What is his relation or rather uh, you can say what is his position in the gram panchayats or panchayat samiti? Sorry. In block level, I know that he is the de facto chairman of uh, one development council or what is the, the setup there that is there. Mm -hmm. um, but in panchayat level, I am not Not panchayat, but panchayat samitis. Panchayat samitis. Not, not grand panchayat, panchayat, panchayat samitis. Okay, fine. So, suppose uh, you have given OS as your first reference. Suppose you get into OS, okay. And there is one uh, imminent flood in your district, okay. Your higher authority is asked you to ensure that there is zero casualty. But uh, the government is short of boats, they have not provided you, provided you boats, a lot of boats. So, but there is a Zamindar who has boats with him, 30 40 boats, which will sufficient, that is sufficient for your purpose. What are you going to do? The Zamindar is saying that he needs advance payment. Okay? You have tried to persuade him, your seniors have tried to persuade him that it is being done on an emergency basis to save the life of people but let's say he is a self-centric person he is not interested in anything else he wants the money first 
then you will allow me to enter this private property and take these boats. What are you going to do with that? Takes boats, I mean, I can get boats, yes, boats. Uh, to rescue the people in the, you know, during the floods. I'm saying that you are, uh, you know, in charge, you are in, let's say you are the Tasilda yes, of the place, okay. okay. There is imminent flood in okay. that place, let's say yes, in the yes. next six hours, flood waters will start coming to your area. Your senior officers yes, have told you yes. to ensure zero casualty, yes, right? You have to rescue the people. Yes, now, government has not provided sufficient boats. Yes, and there is one particular landlord. Okay, Zaminda, who has a lot of boats with him, yes, that would suffice for your cause. Yes, but he is asking for advance payment, yes, much above the government level, what the government generally sanctions. Yes, and you have tried to persuade him, your seniors have tried to persuade him, but let's say he is a self centered person, he wants the money first, then he will allow you to enter his, okay. Place where he has kept his boats and all. What are you going to do in that place? So I'll try to talk with him and I'll try to convince him that uh, he will. Suppose that already has failed. Yeah. He's yeah. not been talking terms. This is that I just need the money. Pay me the money, you take the boats. So then we will also try to look into if there are other alternatives nearby. If there are Suppose other there are no alternatives. Only person who can help you is that person. If he is asking more money, which is against the law, then I'll take the help of the police and uh, I'll try to get these boats. Uh, okay. You use force and you confiscate these boats. Yes, if the person is not cooperating for the betterment of the people, and if there are provisions that help, that allows me to uh, use force and put that for the better interest of the people, mm. then at that point of time, uh, that is what my national mind will say because more people are there in danger. Because money is a secondary thing. And that is the luxury for one person, but the, the lives of the people at stake. So, in that case, how, if he is not, I will try to request him and I will try again finding the other alternatives if I can. But if everything fails, then if no option is left, maybe then I will that. Okay. Fine, so that will be the end of the interview. Thank you.